Hello everyone, and welcome to the final episode of Pokemon Cardinal. Last time, Professor Tamarack asked us if we could track down the remaining Tundra forms that we had not seen yet for the purpose of his research, which we did, and in exchange got to keep the Tundra forms for ourselves. Additionally, Tamarack also said he would share some top secret information with us for our trouble, which is where we pick up in today's episode. So let's listen to Tamarack and find out what this secret is. So, about that top secret information. It's taken me a while, but I have gathered conclusive evidence of a mythical Pokémon within Norklo. As far as I'm aware, no one has ever seen this Pokémon face to face, which means I've had the honor of naming it myself. I've dubbed it Morvator. The reason I was doing research on this in the first place is because I suspected a connection between Morvator and the Life Trio. You do know of the Life Trio, correct? They are a trio of legendary Pokémon that are seemingly connected to the concept of life itself. Although, little more is known about them currently. I believe Morvator is what you might call a trio master of the Life Trio, and only seems to be willing to show itself when all three members of the Life Trio are together in one location. Now, I wasn't exactly planning on asking you to do this, but seeing as how you wrangled up those Tundra forms so quickly, I suppose it's worth a shot. Would you be willing to try and track down and catch all three members of the Life Trio so that we may actually get a chance to see more of a tour for ourselves? <coughs> wonderful! Simply wonderful! I knew I could depend on Norklo's newest champion. To get you started, I'll let you in on where you can find each member of the Life Trio. They are known to inhabit Mount Norklo, the Abandoned Manor, and the Isle of Victory, respectively. If you go to those locations and look around very carefully, you may just be able to find them. This will be a monumental discovery if you were able to pull it off. Reed and Wendy, I know you'll be able to do it. I'm counting on you. Alright, looks like we're on the hunt for some legendary Pokémon. While we can track down the members of the Life Trio in any order, we're going to start with the one we most recently saw in the Isle of Victory. Now, the way these Pokémon work, or would work if this were an actual game, is that they are confined to the area that they are located in, however they are also roaming legendaries at the same time. This means that they can be found anywhere within their respective areas, and you've just gotta look around and encounter wild Pokémon until you can find them. If you stick to it though, I think they'll start to pop up before too long. Oh boy, it looks like we found one! This is Burnham, the beginning of life Pokémon. Burnham is said to encapsulate the force that brings new life into the world. While not much is known about it, people have been able to associate this Pokémon with the fruitfulness of new life, and whenever people or Pokémon are expecting to bring a child into the world, they send prayers to this Pokémon that their child will be able to be born safely. Despite this Pokémon's size, it is also very powerful, so it might take you a few hits and a few Ultra Balls, but I'm sure you'll be able to catch it, which means we only have two Life Trio members to go. Let's go see if we can find the next one. Here we are at Mount Norklo. This is where we saw the first of what we would later find out is a member of the Life Trio, and the process is going to be the same as before. We know it's around here somewhere, and if we keep searching and encountering Pokémon long enough, I know we'll find it. Look, here it is! This is Primri, the Prime of Life Pokémon. 
Primri is always on top of its game, as it embodies the vigor that comes with being at the prime of your life. This Pokémon is thought to be able to imbue others with that same level of vigor and make those who are older feel young again. That has made this Pokémon extremely sought after, but no one has been able to track it down until now. Just like with Burnim, Primri is tough and isn't going to let you catch it without a fight, but as the champion of Norklo, I'm sure you'll get it caught before too long, and with that, we only have one more to find. Let's head to the abandoned manor and track it down. By this time, I'm sure you all know the drill. If we search the manor long enough, we're bound to find this Pokemon. So let's get to it and track it down already. And wouldn't you know it, here it is. This is Finrit, the end of life Pokemon. This Pokemon isn't as sought after by the locals because it seems to only bring one thing with it, death. Whenever this Pokemon has been sighted, a death has always followed shortly after. So it is believed that this Pokemon knows when others are going to die. While it might be a master of death, we can still give it a couple hits, and between that and a few Ultra Balls, we should be able to catch it no problem. Wow, I cannot believe it, we actually caught all three members of the Life Trio. We better take them back to Professor Tamarack right away and see if he can give us any more information on what to do next. Reed, Wendy! How's catching those legendary Pokemon go- What?! You've caught all three already?! Oh, goodness me. I knew you two were good. I knew you were the champion of Norklo, but boy, oh boy! Did I not ever expect this. You are a prodigy! <clears throat> let, let me just contain myself for a second. <sighs> then I can tell you what to do next. <sighs> okay. I'm good. I'm under control. Now that you have found all three members of the Life Trio, the next step is to see if we can coax out Morvator. Based on the evidence I've gathered, Morvator seems to appear most often on the Nameless Island, which sits in the middle of Waylord Bay. And it never got around to being named, apparently. If you head past the power plant through Route 18 and to Artavi Town, there is a small ferry that can take you to the island. Just hand them this, and you'll be good to go. This could be the discovery of a generation! So head out, you two! We have a new Pokémon to discover! Although we could just fly straight to Artavi Town since we've been there before, we might as well take Professor Tamarack's advice and head up through Route 18 since we have yet to travel through this route before. This is another route that you have to become champion to be able to access, but once you do, you'll find a plethora of powerful Pokémon here, including Volnetic, Bulboa, Serapent, Tormitense, Ursumbra, Condobor, and Fironix, along with Terrectrofly and Resemdra. If you're the type of person who likes to turn over every rock they come across, you'll also be able to find Yon Megaite, which will allow you to evolve any Yon Mega you have into Mega Yon Mega. Mega Yon Mega finally becomes part Dragon type at this stage in addition to Bug, and is extremely ferocious and powerful. Come to think of it, this might just come in handy depending on how strong this mythical Pokémon we're looking for really is. So let's take it with us and head on to our Tavi Town so we can catch the ferry to the Nameless Island.
We have now arrived at the Nameless Island. While you will find a few small cabins and some people to interact with here, the real reason we are here is obviously to see if we can find the mythical Pokemon Morvator. Outside of the few houses that are built here, there is a lot of grassy and forested area on the island, so we might as well just start looking around and see if we can find anything interesting. Oh, and we need to make sure that we have all three members of the Life Trio in our party, as according to Professor Tamarack, that is the key to getting this Pokémon to appear. Gosh. Professor Tamarack was right! Morvator does exist, and it's connected to the Life Trio after all. Morvator is known as the Afterlife Pokémon. As the master of the Life Trio, this Pokémon has dominion over the Afterlife. This Pokémon's existence was first caught onto by humans after people who had had near-death experiences claimed to have seen this Pokémon in their mind while their life was still in the balance. This is going to be the strongest Pokémon you have faced, wild or not, in Pokémon Cardinal to this point, so you better have come prepared. Since you have the Life Trio in your party at the moment, you can use their strength to your advantage, but if you intend to catch this Pokémon, prepare for a long fight. You're going to want to stack up on Pokéballs, as Morvator's catch rate is extremely low. If you are able to stick it out though, you might just be able to catch it. Nice work, kid. I came here when I heard you were attempting to catch Morvator and the Life Trio. First, I wanted to apologize for running off so abruptly after we defeated Team Tundra. Once I knew they'd been stopped, I felt it was best for me to leave as quickly as possible, but realized I didn't get a chance to properly thank you. So thank you for saving this region. I can't even begin to tell you the kind of disaster that's been averted by stopping Team Tundra. Or rather, I guess I can. Now. Before I tell you that though, I think it's finally time that I tell you who I really am, and why I'm here. Do you recognize me? I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. I'm pretty old now, but I'm your rival, Krim. The same one you just defeated in order to stop Team Tundra, just from a different time. I'm from an alternate future where Team Tundra actually succeeded in freezing all of Norklo. Thanks in part to me. Just as you experienced, I was so angry that you kept defeating me that I joined Team Tundra in order to become stronger. Except in my reality, there was nothing to stop us at that point. We defeated you, and Kronos set off the amplification machine which began freezing all of Norklo unceasingly. Cardivius awakened just as it did in this reality to try and stop us, but it was past the point of no return. With our combined might, we were able to subdue Cardivius, leaving Norklo to our mercy as everything was frozen solid. It was only when the job was done, however, that I realized what a grave mistake I had made in being part of this. Norklo had become a wasteland. Nearly all Pokémon, human, and even plant life had been eradicated, and I immediately knew I was wrong. At that point I began searching, begging and pleading that there could be some way to reverse all of this, when I remembered something I had learned around this time period. There is a legend that states if all three members of the Life Trio are brought together, they are able to give the person that brings them together the ability to revisit any other point in their life that they choose. This was long thought to be just a folktale, but I figured I had nothing to lose and began searching them out. It took me years, and was made exponentially more difficult by the frozen apocalypse I had helped create. But eventually I caught them all, and used their power to transport me here, right at the time that I was set to join Team Tundra. 
Somewhere along the line, though, I realized that both you and I would need to be even more powerful if we were going to stop Team Tundra and my past self. Which is why, before leaving, I also sought out the power of Mega Evolution. I knew it existed in Norklo thanks to Professor Tamarack giving us the Mega Stones for our starter Pokémon. But in that reality, none of us had a Keystone. Fortunately, however, the Keystones came to me when I ran into an impossibly tall man who said he had traveled to Norklo to witness the devastation for himself. I told him what I planned to do, and he was able to gift me two Keystones, one for myself and one for you, which is why I gave it to you that day at the research lab. I knew you were going to need it if we stood any chance at saving the region. What I did not expect, however, was your access to Mega Evolution throwing my past self into a fit of rage that caused him to join Team Tundra anyway. Luckily, however, we were able to stop him and save Norklo once and for all. Which brings me to my next point. Now that the region is saved, you have moved on to catching all three members of the Life Trio. While this is a commendable accomplishment, it creates a bit of a problem for me. You see, if you have all three members of this trio in your possession, that eliminates the ability of my past self to catch them, which in turn eliminates the possibility of me existing at all. It's probably best that I fade into nothingness now, considering my mission is complete. And honestly, I don't have much time left as it is. But deep down, I'm still the same Krim you know and love, and I couldn't let that happen without a fight. So Reed, Wendy, I'm here to battle you one last time, and try and stop you if I may. If I win, you hand the life trio over to me, and I'll get to stick around a while longer. But if I lose, you keep them, and I'll fade out of existence. With my task officially complete, what do you say? Ha! <laughs> I knew you'd never turn down a challenge from me. Looks like it's time to battle for one last time, for all the marbles. Time for the fight of my life. Literally. Go, Tormentense! Ha! <laughs> Still as strong as ever, I see. Go, burn him! You didn't think I'd fade away that easily, did you? You're really going for it, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Go, Heliovin! Ha! If you haven't noticed, I'm really going for it too. Half of my Pokémon down. This is the moment of truth. Go, Primri! I'm not giving up that easy! Like I said, I'm still the Krim you know and love. Nice response, kid. Allow me to respond back. Go, Finrit! That's what I'm talking about! I haven't been in a battle this exhilarating in ages! This is it, down to my last Pokémon, and I think you know him well. Go, Starter! Would you look at that, each down to our last Pokémon. Whatever happens next, I'm glad to have met and know you, and I hope you can think of me as a friend. Looks like my time is up. Reed, Wendy, please don't feel bad about beating me. It was bound to happen one way or another. I mostly just wanted to get one more battle in for the fun of it. With your help, I succeeded in accomplishing what I came here to do. And now, it's time for me to move on for you to enjoy the fruits of that labor. 
I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused, and I hope, in your mind, I've made it right. I'll see ya, and thank you for everything. Thank you.